A violent incident that rocked a Harper Woods neighborhood and destroyed a family more than a week ago just keeps getting worse. 23 year old Jonathan Welch was let out on bond, accused of torturing his girlfriend. Police say he used that bond as freedom to take her life and the lives of others. Sean Lay is live where it happened in Harper Woods with reaction after a third person has died in connection with all of this, Sean. And Kimberly, we're talking about an awful incident here that happened on July 10th. We were here as it all was unfolding. We continue to discover new information day after day about this horrible case. The family's home here remains a sad crime scene. Neighbors here tell us they watched Jonathan Welsh lower his little boy, baby boy, out the window and go back inside the home. That's where police say he went on a horrible stabbing spree. And now we've learned there are no survivors. But I never would have thought that this would have occurred. One week ago, this shocking scene played out across the street from Jeff Wolf's Harper Woods home. Video showing 23-year-old Jonathan Welsh surrendering to police after prosecutors say Welsh killed his longtime girlfriend, Zalega Frazier, his stepfather, Robert Bray, setting his mother's home on fire and shooting at police. Also, Welsh's own mother was stabbed in her back during the attack. Police now confirming tonight that mother, Flossie Nicole Bray, has died from her injuries. It's just a tragedy, um, really. It's all that can really be said about it. I think everybody in the neighborhood was, was pulling for Flossie to make it and hoping that that would be at least one salvageable element of this situation, so it's, it's very tragic. All this taking place after Welsh was arrested and charged in June with torturing and sexually assaulting Frazier. But a 36 district court magistrate gave Welsh a $10,000 bond. Welsh's mother bonding her son out. Hours later, police say Welsh attacked her, Frazier, and his stepdad. Everybody's just shocked about it and dismayed that this all could have been prevented. Back here live, Jonathan Welsh, now a Harper Woods judge setting bond for him. No bond is being held tonight. He has a hearing tomorrow. We'll have it covered for you. We understand his charges will now be amended to include his own mother's death. We're live in Harper Woods tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4, back to you. Unbelievable. Okay, Sean, thank you.